guys. I hope you're all doing well. I'm here in the forest again. Just having a little walk around, seeing if there's anything interesting. I've seen a few things already that you'll see further along the video. But it's fairly quiet at the moment. Uh, the wind is building up, but it's not too bad. And the sun keeps on popping out. There's, there's a particular plant that I'm looking for, as you will see. But uh, this particular plant that I'm after is not around. There's uh, some beautiful moths as well. First I thought they were butterflies, but they're not the moths. I'm not sure if it's a tiger moth, but uh, every time I try and film one, she keeps on disturbing them. So I'll try and get some uh, footage of that. And um, and I'm, I'm looking for some lamb's quartz. I'll, I'll, I'll give you one clue. Well, it's one plant that I'm looking for, but I'm also looking for the man plant, we could say. And um, it's a it's a herb that is for men to use. There's plenty of herbs out there for women. Um, and if we remember, if we go back in history, if you read any of the books, historical books, women were the, um, well, women tended to be the masters of uh, herbs and, and uh, cures, uh, tinctures and stuff like that for ailments. Um, but they were often called uh, witches by invading forces so and obviously we know some of the history to do with that uh, basically burn at the stake for the knowledge that they had which is a shame really I've gone slightly off piece there but um, I'm looking for a particular plant that is a good remedy for any problems regarding the prostate stick with me guys I am trying to find it now my eyes are peeled and whilst I'm, my eyes are being peel, peeled trying to find said plant which you'll find out about probably in the heading I don't know why I'm being so evasive As you can see the curly dock there this is late summer so all the seeds are coming off right now And the plant that we are looking for, guys, is right there at a really easy place to reach. So, this is a baby. And what I'm going to do is just pull it out from the bottom. It's only this one here. See the root there? So this is late in the game. You can actually sort of like eat the inside of the, the root of the plant and up the stalk the uh, what's known as the pith I'm just going to go to a place where there's not as many lumps and bumps on the ground because this is very very uneven surface so go and find a decent place to take a seat and explain this plant to you if you don't already know guys, so stick with us. Getting bent to pieces here. I don't know if you can see. Black fly all over the place. Oh god. So unsteady, so uneven the ground. Oh, it's unreal. Which is problematic when you've got black fly biting you, you've got badgie on your heels, as you can see there, and we're walking on what they call them military babies' heads. So, I'll show you what I mean. So, you stand on them there, like so. But if you stand on the side, you just go sinking right into the ground there. So they play havoc on your uh, on your ankles. But there's one there. Stand on that. It's all over the place. <sighs> Happy days. I'll find a log to sit down on sooner or later. 
there's plenty blown over in the storm so catch you in a bit guys the amount of black flies that are around me right now are unbelievable i don't know if you can see there let me just lift the camera up a little bit i don't know if you can see them swarming around me but uh there's way too many for my liking so what i'm going to do is start a fire and uh the smoke should clear these off what a pain what a pain some of this stuff here it's a bit damp actually yeah as you can see it's damp there so i'm gonna have to gather some of this stuff here just take the top layers and see what i can do what i can pull together I'll tell you the black flies are just unbelievably irritating right now. I mean you've got to put up with it when you're out here in the field but if you can help it you get around it but uh, a particularly hungry swarm has decided they want to gather around so I mean I don't know if you can hear them they sound like a a swarm of bees. I hope you can hear them. Then you won't think I'm exaggerating just for the sake of it. Right, we need more dry stuff. There you go, we're getting there now. Just put your hands in and all the dead stuff will come out. Ooh, baby. Leave me be, black flies. Yeah, I'll add that feather to the mix. Been a hot summer, let me tell you. So, a lot of stuff is very dry still. He reckons. it's prudent not to uh, we should be all right there not to go crazy with a fire and the reality is I'm only doing it now to I might get something on the go a bit of rice or something but my priority right at this moment in time is uh, just getting rid of these black fly Whew. Let's get this sorted, eh? So guys, what I've got is I've got the ingredients there. We've got some dry grass, some kindling. I've got a piece of stone that I've picked up from the uh, little river down there. I've got some Daldinica concentrica. What I'm gonna do is transfer a spark from here using this steel. And I'm gonna transfer it to the Daldinica concentrica. And then from there, we're gonna transfer it to the bundle of grass, uh, dry grass, heat it up, hopefully get a flame, we will, we will get a flame, and then transfer that to the kindling, and then thus build the fire. So here we go. See Badgie's getting bitten to pieces there, I'm getting bitten to pieces. We'll get this sorted. just takes a bit of time because what we need to do is get the we need to get this to land the actual spark these sparks you're not going to get them from there these sparks need them to land on the daldinica concentrica so that can be a bit challenging especially under these conditions so we'll just have to be patient Mm 
Just put that there, like that. Come on. Come on, let's do this. As you can see there, oh. as you can see there, now that starts to heat up really quick. What I'm going to do now is transfer this to the uh, grass, take it from there. What I don't want to do is smother it. So just keep it like that. And blow on it. Because the grass is quite damp, I want to take my time with it. Just let it smolder for a little bit. This will help with the uh, black fly as well. Sometimes you see people and they're blowing it and blowing it and blowing it and blowing it and so forth and they wonder why they don't get any result because they actually blow the, the actual spark out. So, well the ember out should I say. So, we just need to be patient and take our time. Right, Badge. They're biting you as well, aren't they? I know you've been trying to eat them, haven't you, Badge? Hey? So annoying. You're going to have to mind out with a second, are we? Just doing something here. Alright. Come on, mind out. Come on, Badge. Find out. Find out, good girl. Don't want to burn you. Find out, Badge. Find out. Don't want to burn you. It's had a good chance to heat up there. So. Any damp residue in the grass will should evaporate as long as we take our time. It's almost there now, we're almost ready.
pesky flies are still around. Go ahead, Badge. Now we want to build a fire quickly as we can. Now, just as we have done that, got this little fire going, black fly has disappeared. All of a sudden, surprise, surprise. Jesus, man. I tell you, I'm not sure. I'm just going to have a look in the old... Uh, I'm not sure how much I've been hit there, but believe you me, it wasn't nice at all. The plant that I wanted to talk to you about is this one here. So this one's called... A willow herb and there isn't much of it in this forest but you can usually find this all around uh, hedgerows uh, the side of roads motorways and so forth and uh, in open areas and it's called willow herb because and you can't see really for the way these are shrunk and withered but it's got leaves like uh, willow and uh, you can recognize by these sort of like pods, these purple pods and this flower. So this one hasn't gone to seed yet but you can eat this and all you do there if you've ever made beers when you were a kid or anything like that you take the leaves off. These leaves if you dry them out you can use them as a bit of a tea or make them into a tincture or something like that. Basically you put these in dried out got slight tanning to them as well um, you let them steep for sort of like 10 minutes you've got yourself a nice brew there it's sort of like citrusy and a slightly bitter so you can add a bit of honey to it that's what I would do but this helps with anything to do with the prostate any problems to do with the prostate gland uh, any disease and so forth there's plenty of evidence out there if you look on Google it or you can YouTube it there's tons and tons of channels that promote this and the use of it if you're having problems going to the toilet or you find so if you have a sensation that you feel like you got you need to go to the toilet and your bladder's full but then when you get there it, it it isn't then this apparently can help with that it also can help at night time if you're getting up and going to the toilet a couple of times in the night this can help as well as other things there are other things that one needs to do and one should always seek advice from a medical professional but these are these are really useful when they go to seed there's like a white fluff that comes off them and I'll show you some photographs of that or some footage you can actually use the seeds as uh, tinder as well but you're gonna have to collect quite a lot of them because they uh, they ignite very very fast very rapid 
So you can eat the pith in the in the centre, gives you plenty of carbohydrates, and also you can eat this, all the pods at the end and stuff like that. And the flour, the flour's nice in salads. What you can do with the flour actually is you can put the flowers in um, ice cubes. Uh, look absolutely fantastic, obviously, if you want to show off and to your friends and that. What I'll do is, uh, I'll keep that smoking in fact, because it's the smoke that uh, wards away the uh, black fly. They've gone totally now. Um, they were swarming all over my face, uh, all over my head, my hands, hands. Uh, they were swarming all over Badgie and um, we don't want that because uh, it can make her ill and uh, may make me ill. There were a few biting my lips early on. Nobody touches my lips, only the precious one. So, so there you go guys, we've got some, uh, I might make some actually, I might make some now, I may, might make some tea with these and I'll give you a lowdown of what they actually taste like. Uh, I might put a few of these in as well, a few of the pods in. In the Second World War and the First World War, these used to grow uh, in abundance where craters had been formed from the bombs that had been dropped. So if you can imagine a big expanse, a big say, open area and you've got craters uh, that have been created by the bombs and tons and tons of these growing in them, often either side would think that these were left <coughs> as a way of poisoning the soldiers. So uh, that's, I think that's where they, they get the name, the fire stick or fire spear or fireweed. Um, but obviously uh, the Latin name is just here. But uh, we call them uh, willow uh, herb, willow herb. And there are many different sort of like offshoots, so look, plants that look very similar, which are also willow herb, but they're they have a, a different um, structure up uh, up yonder and uh, different leaf formations as well. So there's a few varieties, um, but this one's a safe one if you want uh, something to eat. And there are other medicinal properties to do with this as well. So there you go guys, bit, uh, that was a bit challenging I suppose, took a bit of time, but um, just a bit of flint type material, stone, um, some Daldinica concentrica, so cramp ball, Saint somebody's uh, King Alfred's cake I think, the other name, a uh, a beautiful piece of um, molded and then shaped uh, steel, effective and nice and compact, just two fingers, like the sound effects. Um, and then obviously you need your dry grass, 
and um, your little bits of uh, kindling, your twigs and so forth. And uh, you need reserves, I suppose, for when the weather is really bad. Doing what I've just done there is, it's not too, I mean, it's windy now and it's a bit cooler than it has been, but um, uh, I wouldn't recommend that and carrying that with you all the time. Um, just for purely safety reasons, we don't need to put ourselves in a survival situation, do we? We just need to learn these things, and that's what I'm doing here now. I'm just practicing, practicing my skills, and um, but uh, we've always got a reserve, haven't we? We've always got a reserve parachute. <laughs> when we jump out of that plane, guys, <laughs> you trinky paratus. Be ready for anything. Let's take a few. Oi. All right. Get out of it. <sighs> Check out any of the uh, the yellow ones. I'm going to let that come to a boil, and then we'll let it steam. So there you go, guys. Just give that a bit of a stir. Yeah, it won't take long, that will it? it? Won't take long at all. As you can tell, the wind's picking up a bit. It's amazing how a fire makes you feel like you're at home. There are a couple of things that are going to be happening soon. I think I'm going to start doing a Wednesday sort of vlog type thing. Um, where I'll just have a chat about bushcrafty stuff and other things to do with the outdoors really, it doesn't necessarily have to be to do with uh, bushcraft but it might be anything from, uh, I don't know, a talk about the links that they're pretty much gonna be introducing to certain forests around the UK so it might be something to do with that, something about the fires maybe that have been going on around the world or uh, other topics, other subjects um, so what I'll probably do, I've never I've never really done a live stream and uh, I'm going to give it a go, see how it goes um, and if it's something that I think is good for the channel and I, I enjoy doing it and, it's, and I can fit it and I can, I can commit to it then we'll do it and uh, I'll make it a regular thing but uh, so I'm going to give it a try, I'll probably give it a try um, the Wednesday what I'll do is I'll put a, a little not a link but a little message up here now round about yonder um, on a date that I'm going to do it so that you can be uh, so you that you're aware that um, I'm going to do a live stream and I invite well obviously my subscribers along uh, and anyone who wants to subscribe um, and potential subscribers for the future uh, and maybe the channel can grow a little bit and the community can grow but I, I really want it to be a uh, a community thing so I don't really want to be doing my subject every Wednesday or every other Wednesday or once a month or whatever wh however it works out I want us to talk about things to do with the outdoors that are going to be useful to our community and the people within the community but also um, other people as well so don't we badge don't we can include dogs can include things like hammocks equipment tarps uh, modifications fire safety and regulations and fishing regulations or whatever it may be the law 
around the outdoors um, and we can just take it from there and hopefully have some not too serious but serious things we'll have to just have a look at I suppose topics but uh, also have some fun as well and at times it can be light-hearted uh, so uh, I think it might be interesting so yeah that's the score guys um, it feels like I've just ended that too quickly but um, let me know your thoughts as well um, if you're interested in it anything could be a good thing just let me know your thoughts or uh, if you have, have if you have any ideas then let me know by the way new tattoo yeah not quite finished yet there's plenty plenty of other stuff to come along but uh, it's just in the uh, healing process at the moment so go on badge come over yonder let's get on with this tea eh? right we sorted with that now I'm gonna take that off the heat as you can hear it's uh it's nice and hot I put a few pods in there as well just to uh, add a bit more flavor and I'm gonna let that rest now for 10 minutes and uh, let it cool down a little bit and then um, give you my verdict. Well, no, yeah, so first impressions guys. Um, it is, it tastes very much. Um, I'm gonna say very, it tastes lovely actually. It tastes very clean, cleans the palate. Um, it's not minty, it's more citrusy. It's like, um, like a very mild Lipton tea type taste. This is really nice. There's a slight bit of tannin. You can taste the tannin a little bit, but it's, uh, it's just like a mild tea. That's all I can say. Very mild tea. Snuggling in there, right? Mm. So yes, guys, I hope you've uh, found this video useful and um, you've learned something from it. I certainly have learned something from it. When I come out and do these things, I'm always learning stuff, I, whether it's to do with my technique and not doing something right or uh, learning new techniques and better ways of doing things. Um, so my, my strengths and my limitations in other words so practice makes perfect so I really really enjoy coming out here and I really enjoy filming for you guys as well I hope you enjoy it I'd like to know your views as far as doing the live streaming on a Wednesday or every other Wednesday uh, just let me know what you think and um, hopefully we can get that going and get that sorted so I'm going to sort this smoke out guys because it's getting very smoky I'll say cheers to you you take care of yourselves, experience the outdoors and the wilderness, and I will see you on the next hook fin. You take care guys, be prepared. Bye for now. Nice is badge. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm not gonna do anything with these but this is uh they're definitely the early signs of uh chicken and horse in my humble opinion <laughs>